Hey there, welcome to day 2,243 of What You Up Here Now. Sharon Elstrom here. I haven't had my coffee yet, definitely need it. Just getting home from over a month traveling, and as usual, I'm a little discombobulated for the first few days. First thing I realized was I need a new background. Uh, this one's my February background, and I have not had a chance to change it yet. Uh, when I got home, I had to see my granddaughters and my kids, and that's way more important than changing my video background. Sorry, it's the truth. So today we're talking about soul, spirit, creativity, and growth. Growth in our business, growth in our personal life, uh, spiritual growth this month for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And today we talked about the soul and the spirit. And I talked really, really briefly because it's such a personal topic. I think um, our soul and our spirit, and people use those terms interchangeably, including me, uh, is the essence and the core of who we really are. And for some people, it's it's on the surface and, and who they are is truly who they are inside. How they show up, how they behave, how they think, how they act, how they speak is the essence of who they are. Other people, and me included when I was younger, have piles and piles of masks and veils that hide who we are from ourselves as well as who we are from other people. And so it's a big, huge topic and I just, I'm tired from traveling and I didn't feel like delving into it because a lot of it is so personal. It's up to each and every one of us to explore. So I just asked a simple question today. Spend some quiet time, find a place to spend a couple of minutes in a peaceful place and just think about and pay attention to, notice, tap into what is your soul or spirit trying to tell you? What is it trying to show you? And how might you start incorporating that into your, your life and living who you're really meant to be? So that was our topic for Let's Grow Annual Challenge today. Uh, for Super Size Your Business, our topic is, again, I keep saying one of my favorite, because I picked the topics, creativity, and how do we use creativity to build and grow and supersize our business? I find that creativity helps in every area and aspect of our life. It helps us to make better decisions. It helps us to be open to the possibilities of better decisions. It helps us to be, I think, more kind and open to other people's way of thinking because we know that we all think differently and we want people to respect the way we think, the way we behave, the way we believe. So we need to offer that same courtesy. It's not really courtesy. It's just common golden rule good behavior toward other human beings you know treat people the way you want to be treated uh, so we talked about how do we use creativity in the different areas and assets for our business to really be a strategy of growth and development and it's it's again one of those things come that comes from within you you can't really fake it whether you're creative or not you know some companies strive to be innovative but it's just on the surface to make it themselves look good to other people. It's like some organizations jump into political arguments or are going totally green just to look good in the environment. But when you get inside those organizations, they're not really behaving that way. And they don't really believe the things that they're espousing and expounding to the public. So uh, there's got to be authenticity and you have to really do the things that are important to you and making the world a better place in your business and in your life. So talk about that a little bit. So I will be, again, discombobulated for a couple of days while I get back into my usual routines, my usual uh, things. I mean, still got everything in a suitcase, but that's my own fault. All right. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.